Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought I would come here and do what I've been promising that I would do finally and just, I feel like it's an important video um, and I felt like it was important for me to get it out in a good speed and a, a good amount of time. So feeling that sense of urgency, I am coming here to share with you how I go about using my skincare. This is gonna be a specific to skincare video. I will go into makeup another time if you guys want to, um, I would love to. But yeah, let's today go over what I think you should splurge on if you want to, or if you have the money to, what I think you should save on, um, what I think that you don't really need to spend the money on or what is kind of a basic thing. Um, and then also what's like in the middle, you know, like something you don't want to necessarily be the bottom basement dollar store kind of edition, but you also don't want it to, you don't necessarily need it to be this luxury high-end item. So we're going to go through light, medium, and full here as far as skincare goes price-wise. I think price is really important to people and I think that people have a right to, um, you know, spend their money as they wish. And I think that you don't have to spend a lot to get great skincare and get a lot of result out of your skincare. So that's kind of what I'm here for mostly, I will say. Um, but I'm also here for things that are fancy, things that are nice, like some things I think you can spend a little bit more on. But if you wanna hear all about that, please subscribe, become a Bleeding Heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. I know you probably haven't yet, please do it. We're on our way to a thousand and I would really appreciate it. And also leave a comment down below for something that you'd like to see in the future um, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So other than that, let's get going to this video. Okay, y'all, let's start with the basics, right? So how we, and I'm gonna link some people um, throughout this video, be looking out for them. I'm gonna link some of them probably right here. Um, but Cassandra Bankson is somebody I highly respect and recommend to watch. Um, I really, really like Lab Muffin Beauty Science. I'll also link her here. Um, I've talked about both of those creators before. Um, I also love Dr. Dre. I'll try and lit, uh, link Dr. Dre here. They are a wealth of knowledge, and this is just things that I've picked up along the way. So take this with a grain of salt. I will say I'm a makeup artist primarily, but I'm very, very um, focused on my own personal skincare. And I think that skincare is self-care. I also think that skincare is kind of a prescription um, in the way that you can't just try what your friend Let me, let me, let me rewind. Um, you can't just try what your friend does. And I see that a lot. That's one of the most annoying things to anyone in the cosmetics, cosmetology, skincare, makeup kind of fields. Um, I think it's really annoying to hear, my friend really likes this especially when it comes to skincare. Makeup I can see um, because it has to do with texture and color and things like that. And somewhat um, texture does come into play here, but I will say what works for one person's skin doesn't work for all people's skin. Um, every skin is completely different. Even if you think that your skin is similar to someone else's skin, it may not be, and it probably isn't. So, so that being said, I think it's always good to start out with something that comes with a prescription. Um, if you need something for your skin and you can and you have access to, which we have a lot more access these days um, virtually over the internet to dermatologists and skincare specialists, um, but specifically dermatologists that can 
prescribe you things that you need. So for me, I like, I've found out that, you know, tretinoin is my thing and I'm probably gonna stick with that um, for the time being, but going to the dermatologist, I think is gonna be my first point here. Like go and see a professional. Don't go and see someone at a beauty counter. Don't go and see your friend. Don't go and see necessarily even an esthetician, to be honest with you. Like, go see a dermatologist first. And then, you know, esthetician, I think aesthetics and estheticians are for the upkeep of everything. The, you know, rotate your tires type situation. I don't see that as prescribing what you need and, you know, like defining what skincare is gonna work for you and what your skin needs and what your skin is doing at the time. I think that's all different for everyone. But yeah, I just thought I would get my dermatology plug in there because I think dermatologists, you know, sometimes people wanna seek natural remedies and home remedies and their friend's advice and their friend who's becoming an esthetician's advice and all this stuff. It's just important to know you know, when you need to go and see somebody about something that absolutely is recommended for your skin based on science. So that's all, that's all. Okay, moving forward from there, I'm gonna move on to kind of each step that I have sitting in front of me. Um, we have some cleansers, exfoliants, blah, blah, so, I'm gonna start in the process that I would normally use these items. So let's start with these two items here. These are both very affordable items. This one is from The Ordinary, this one is from The Inky List. This is what I've been using for my, um, <laughs> my shampoo and my uh, conditioner lately. Just a basic shampoo and conditioner. This one is Sulfate 4% Cleanser for body and hair. I really like it. Um, it's very like, it's not stripping. It's it's leaving a good amount of your natural hair or skin biome alone. And I really like that. So um, very inexpensive. I don't think that you should splurge on anything that's a cleanser, unless it's doing something very active for you that you need. Um, even so, the next thing we're gonna talk about is face cleanser. And Nick and I both really love this. This is the salicylic acid cleanser from the Inky List. It is fantastic. We buy these by like the three and four um, when I order these. So I just, I had to put this in this video. This is something we use all the time. We reorder like crazy. I'm like whatever the status is with the Inky List, like the icon or like the pro or whatever it is. Um, I'm that. So yeah, this is a great exfoliating cleanser. Um, I get congestion in my pores and I tend to like, I can tend to break out. So this keeps like oil under control a little bit, keeps sebum and oil under control. It also keeps my pore size under control, my blemishes under control, um, keeps me a little bit more, you know, treated for the things that I need. So, but this is like, what? I don't know, like $7, $8, maybe $9, but you get, how many ounces? Five fluid ounces. So we go through these fast, I will say, because we, this is the, our main cleanser that we use all the time, but it is a really good cleanser and it's not expensive. So I think that when it comes to the cleansing category, I would say, go inexpensive, there's lots of options. Okay, serum category, I would say. Um, you can have lots of different price points. I actually wanna add one thing to this little lineup, one second. All right, so let me add this. That way we have a really good spectrum here. So we have, I would say, inexpensive. It's gonna be the Inky List Vitamin C Serum with EGF. Um, that one is really, really good. This com is comparative to, um, I would say like CE Ferulic, 
uh, from SkinCeuticals, which everyone loves, um, all that. All, all the ascorbic acid products are almost the same. This one's really nice. I love the texture of it. I, again, I have skin that tends to lean more towards sebum. Uh, like it, 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 I get larger pores. I get breakouts sometimes. Um, I like a thinner texture vitamin C and I love this vitamin C. I keep getting it and it's my favorite one to be honest. And this one's like $15, $16 from the inky list. So highly recommend. That's vitamin C. I tend to stick with vitamin C and vitamin A because vitamin A and vitamin C are the two most researched um, things that we have as far as anti-aging ingredients and preventative ingredients. So those are the ingredients I try to incorporate when I'm cycling through. Um, these two are vitamin A based. I already showed this one. This one is from NERX. I got it prescribed for me. Um, Love it, very resurfacing, helps with discolorations, helps with my acne or breakouts, helps with my pore size, texture, all that. So love this. This one I love and I have loved this for longer. This is different. Um, any kind of adapalene gel, I really, really like. This you can wear during the daytime. It's not like photosensitive, um, but vitamin A derivative. Adapalene gel is gonna get rid of acne and large pores and all that kind of stuff, but it's also linked to, has been linked to like anti-aging kind of claims. So those two are serums that I use. And I usually go in with my serums um, unless I'm gonna go in with an exfoliant, which we'll talk about next after my cleanser, but this one would be your high-end option. And this is a peptide serum. This is the BioLifting Serum from Chantecaille. Great serum, very calming, very soothing. I like to alternate this serum when I'm doing like tretinoin. So I'll do like, if I do tretinoin and I feel a little bit of retinization to the skin, the skin's a little bit red, it's a little bit um, irritated, it feels a little bit stingy or burny after I've done this one night, I'll skip the next night, obviously, maybe the next two nights, depending on how my skin feels, and I'll probably do something like this because this doesn't have anything that's super active, but has very nutritive ingredients, um, very, you know, collagen building peptide sort of ingredients, and it's more natural as well. So very hydrating. So you, you kind of got to balance out what you have, but this serum costs like, how much does this serum cost? It's like 400, 500, something like that. And um, I would say it's amazing, but like there are lots of, again, options. And like when I don't use this, I have used other things. Um, the polyglutamic acid serum from the Inky List I've used. I've used lots of different things. Um, and there's other anti-aging ones that I like too. I usually like to incorporate a peptide serum though, um, along with my vitamin A and vitamin C, and I rotate those in different strengths. So I also have, I would say this is a, this is a middle of the road kind of an option. This is the retinol 0.5 from the CauseRx. It's got vitamin E and squalane. So, this one is one that I would um, alternate when I'm not using. So like this one, I generally kind of use more in the day now. If I need a little bit of control, like I find in the morning I have a breakout or in the morning I'm looking at larger pores or need to smooth some things out. Sometimes I'll wear this in the daytime usually. Um, but at nighttime, if I'm not gonna do my tretinoin, I'll do something like this. And this is like a nice lightweight oil for all skin types. Um, I would say this is a middle of the road price point, you know? This, this and this are both, these are both like middle of the road price points. I would say you could find this at the drugstore. Um, this one, not so much, but the prices aren't that different than drugstore. Um, so yeah, 
those are all, most all the serums I've been loving or using and that I cycle through. Let's get into exfoliation. So for exfoliation, I generally like keep it simple and do like a little bit of exfoliation in my cleanser. Um, and you know, I do alternate. Sometimes I'll use this cleanser. Sometimes I use my Jeffree Star like strawberry cleanser, uh, which is just like niacinamide and it's a little bit less active, a little bit more hydrating. Um, if I'm feeling like I need a little bit more gentle cleanser than this, but um, if I'm not exfoliating that way, or even sometimes if I am, because this is a pretty gentle form of exfoliation, I'll go in with a little bit of something extra. The vitamin C brightening pads I just got from Nipfab are really, really good. Um, I don't recommend exfoliating like this during the day necessarily, because these are gonna provide a little bit of exfoliation, but I have been using this at night sometimes, and I do really like, it's kind of like a, they smell citrusy and they're like um, brightening, they get rid of dead skin. The other thing I really like is from The Ordinary. This is the AHA BHA peeling solution. Um, I just got another one of these actually. And I really like this because this is something that I use when I really need to get deep into these, into my pores and um, really exfoliate. So. Again, both of these are drugstore options. Um, I don't think for exfoliant or cleanser, you should be spending all that much money. Um, I just don't see that the ingredients don't cost that much, you know? Okay, let's talk moisture and then let's talk sunscreen. So for moisture, I use lots of different things. I use mostly, um, I would say, inexpensive to middle of the road for a moisturizer. Moisturizer is not doing much for you. It's just keeping your moisture barrier healthy, keeping your serums intact um, so that they're close to the skin and they're sealed to the skin so that they can work a little bit more active. I don't find that you need anything that's like super, super fancy unless you like that. Like that's your luxury thing that you like to do. Um, I think you should spend more money on serums and things than you should spend on moisturizers. But I like Ombre Lisse, the Lot Cream, Le, Le Cream Concentrate. I like that. Um, very hydrating, great as a makeup primer, great as a mask. Um, very hydrating, calming, soothing. If my skin is ever burnt or anything like that and I use this, it really, really helps. So. That is one thing I can attest to about this product specifically, but it's not that expensive. Also kind of, I would say more middle of the road. This one is very inexpensive. And this is the CeraVe, ooh, this is the CeraVe healing ointment. And use it on your lips. Actually, I'm going to use it on my lips right now because my lips are really dry. Um, I use it under my eye. I'm gonna do a video coming up soon about Marilyn Monroe's makeup. And believe it or not, Marilyn Monroe used to use Vaseline as a primer. So I'm gonna kinda test that out with this product, I think. I think it will work, especially for me lately. I've been loving things that are just like super glossy and hydrating. So this is great. This has ceramides. This is healing, protective. If I want, let's say like I run out of my tretinoin and I don't have any more or something and I want to make my retinoid work a little bit harder for me I'll put my retinoid on and then seal it in with some good old um you know petrolatum and when you do that it's anything really heavy and occlusive like this even like sometimes this isn't super occlusive but even sometimes your moisturizer can be occlusive enough um, which just means that it's sealing the skin. Like this is a good seal on the skin. So sometimes if you wanna make something work a little bit more, like you do this one night and you're like, that did nothing. Well, do that again, maybe exfoliate first and then do this and then put on this afterward. It'll do something, I'll tell you that. It might do too much, be careful of that. I'm not suggesting that but you can try it if you want. Okay, a couple of sunscreen options here. So 
I just started using this. I would say, again, this is kind of a middle of the road price point. I really don't have anything that's like super wildly expensive except for maybe something like this. And this I will, um, I will tell you was gifted to me. So I didn't buy this. Um, however, even like these fancy, fancy serums that cost hundreds of dollars, like I, I wouldn't be buying one of those because I know I can get it with the same, almost the same good ingredients for cheaper. And that's the kind of person I am. I like to do, I, I would rather save my money that way. If you like to spend your money and you like to get something like luxury, you like the smell, you like the texture, you like the bottle, whatever it is, like you do you. But lately I've been kind of, I've been either in the middle of the road, which is, these are both middle of the road products, I will say, for SPF. And I do find with SPF, sometimes you do somewhat get what you pay for. Like I have tried some SPFs recent, recently and they've been terrible. So um, just flaky, dry, coming off in like little flakes, it's disgusting. So these um, are really, really good sunscreens. Um, one's by Cosrx, again, um, one of the brands that I go to. Uh, they have really good price points. They're not outrageous, but they're also not like, um, they're not like a bargain necessarily, but they're, they're middle of the road. So they're SPF 50. This is with vitamin E. Um, vitalizing sunscreen. I really liked this. Very moisturizing. I liked the smell of it. It's kind of like a like fancy skincare smell is what I would call it. But it doesn't smell like sunscreen, which is nice. And I find that this kept my skin in really, really hydrated state all day. So love that. I usually tend to use a clear sunscreen like this that's a 50 or like a 45 and then I'll go in with some kind of a tint or like like an SPF tint or a tinted sunscreen and this one is from Indie Lee it's their tinted SPF broad spectrum zinc oxide 12% um, this one I've really really been liking I love like the tint of it I feel like it could work for lots of people's skin tones, but for me, it just gives me like a little bit of a bronzy color. Um, very, very like luminous, kind of glowy finish, and it makes a really good makeup primer. So if you like a glowy, I like glowy finish. So if you like a glowy finish, this one is really nice and it's not too expensive. Like I said, middle of the road. I think this was like, how much did I pay for this? Like. I think it was like 30 bucks, something like that. But about the same, like this one was probably about the same. Maybe this one was a little bit less than that. This one I think came with a deal. So I think this one was like 10 bucks or something. Um, but yeah, so I hope this helps. I hope, I hope this isn't just like not helpful. Um, I hope this helps with your purchases in the future and making more smart informed decisions um like i said the the ladies that i'm listing in this video please go check them out i will also try and like link them in the description box below so you can get a little bit more knowledge about where you should spend your money and where you shouldn't and also um like ending this video out i want to say also the natural, the all natural movement or the like um, clean beauty movement, that's something that you should research too because sometimes it's just very marketing, all, all about the marketing and not so much about the consumer and what they need. So if you're looking for something that's natural, that may not be the case. And, um, but yeah, do some research before you buy. That's the most of this video is just do some research. If it wasn't done here, do it someplace else. And hopefully this motivates you to do that. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Um, it is for free and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.